Whether you are just getting started building an email list or you're absolutely stuck on growing your email list, you've tried everything and it seems like nothing you actually do helps more people subscribe to your list, you probably already know that having an email list is the lifeline to your business. And building this list could majorly affect how much money you actually make in your business. So hit that like button below if you're ready to learn a secret strategy to explode the growth on your email list. Hey there, welcome back. My name is Trina if you're new here and this channel is all about giving you the confidence to show up here on YouTube. So as business owners, it's really important to understand that we don't own any of the social platforms that we're on. So your Facebook followers, your Instagram followers, even your YouTube subscribers aren't yours. And if one day any one of these platforms would disappear or go offline, your followers are gone and you have no way to get in contact with them if you're relying on that specific platform. So that's why it's so critical to have an email list to make sure you have some way to connect with your audience off of these platforms. Plus by having an email list, you're able to build a stronger relationship with that person and give them more value to again, build that know, like, and trust factor. So when you want to pitch them something or let them know you have a spot to work with you, they're going to be more likely to convert if they feel like they know you and they've gotten a lot of value from you with just free stuff on your email list. So maybe you already have a spot on your website that tells people to sign up for your free newsletter. Maybe you even have opt-ins like a checklist, a workbook, some type of template that you pitch to people to get them to give you their email. Or maybe Maybe you're super ahead of the game and you have a webinar strategy or a masterclass that really helps you grow your email list. There's just one problem. <laughs> you're having a hard time getting more people on your email list. You're already creating blog posts to get people to your website to get your content download. Maybe you're already using Facebook, you're already using Instagram, maybe you're already on Pinterest and you're just like stuck with what else you could do to really organically grow your email list. You probably aren't ready to dump loads of money into Facebook ads yet. You were really hoping to really organically grow your email list and start getting some sales before you had to put some money into Facebook ads. Well, my friend, I have a little secret sleeper platform that you're probably not using effectively to grow your email list and that platform is YouTube. Here is why YouTube is really important for you to grow your email list. First thing first, YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world, only followed by Google, which is the first search engine in the world, and Google owns YouTube. So YouTube videos actually show at the top of Google search results. One of the biggest pushbacks I get from people when it comes to being on YouTube is they tell me their audience isn't on YouTube, which is fair enough. But to them I say, well, is your audience searching Google? Are they going to Google to resolve a pain point that you could resolve for them? Then it's going to be critical for you to have YouTube content to go to the top of Google search results. So kind of makes sense on how YouTube free, might I ask, can really explode the organic growth of your email list if you're using it the right way. Now, before we jump into the four ways on how you can get people watching your videos here on YouTube actually on your email list, I wanna remind you to stay to the end because I'm going to tell you the things you need to do here on YouTube to make YouTube put your videos in front of more people, meaning YouTube's gonna do all the promoting for you, it's gonna get more eyes on your videos and organically grow that email list faster, which is what we all want, right? So the very first thing you need to do is ask them, your viewer doesn't know that you have an email list or that you have this freebie or opt-in or newsletter if you don't tell them here in your video. Now, if you don't have the option to add a clickable link on your screen, meaning you don't have 1,000 subscribers or 4,000 hours of watch time, you can add the link to your opt-in or to your newsletter sign up to the description box right below here. So you can just tell them, check out the link in the description box below, point down there and have that link above the fold for them to click on and go get on your email list. The second thing that you can do if you've hit that threshold of a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time, side note, if you haven't hit that threshold of 4,000 hours of watch time and a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna put a video on your screen right now that I want you to watch after this that's going to tell you the exact steps that you need to take to hit that threshold. But once you do, 
then you can add clickable links here on your video. So you can add a little pop-up card that goes directly to a link off of YouTube. And at the end of your video, you can have an end screen that is also a clickable link off of YouTube as well. So then you can just say, get my freebie by clicking the link that's on your screen right now. I'll link it right up here. I forget which side it's on. And at the end of your video, you can also tell them as well because those end screens are only allowed up for the last 20 seconds. The third thing you can do is always have a soft sell in your description box. And so what I mean by that is always adding the link to your opt-in or your newsletter with some kind of text that says, get my free checklist or my free PDF, whatever it is that you're pitching them here, add that link, that link can be clickable in your description box. So let's say somebody is watching your content, they're really liking what you're sharing and they're like, how can I find more information about her? They can go down in the description box and find it there and you don't even have to tell them in every single video. So that's one way that you can start to balance sending people off of YouTube without always ending session time here on YouTube. The fourth thing that you can do is really walk through a process here on your YouTube channel and tell your viewer at the the beginning, hey, if you want a checklist for this process I'm about to go through, make sure you download the PDF or the checklist that I have. I'm gonna link to it down in the description box. Go get that real quick as we walk through here so you can take notes. So then not only are you getting them to get your opt-in and on your email list, you're also telling them to continue watching this video and how your PDF is going to really be an added bonus to your video. Win-win, people on your email list and people watching your YouTube video. So now you know how you're going to get people on your email list, but how are you going to get your videos in front of even more people? Here are my top three tips for getting more views on your videos and really pleasing YouTube so that YouTube does all the promoting for you. The first thing is you need to be consistent here on YouTube because if you're constantly showing up, creating content every single week, not only are you giving more chances for people to find your videos and get on your email list, but you're really starting to grow that reputation with the viewer and potential YouTube subscriber, but also with YouTube. YouTube knows they can rely on you for showing up every single week, creating new content every single week, and it's going to help you start collecting these gold coins I like to talk about here on YouTube. So I reference a lot of YouTube being like Mario Brothers back in the 90s where you went down that little green tube and you collected a lot of coins. Showing up consistently here on YouTube is one of the pieces of gold coins that you can collect here on YouTube to make your channel look more valuable for YouTube to push more of your content to more people. The second tip that I have for you is to plan your content. So I always have about a four week strategy for here on YouTube because if you are constantly sending people to your email list or to your opt-in, you're constantly ending session watch time here on YouTube, which YouTube does not like. So if YouTube knows every time somebody watches one of your videos and leaves YouTube, they're not gonna push any of your videos. They're not gonna show it on browse features, in search, suggested. And so creating your videos are going to end up being pointless. So that's why it's gonna be important for you to plan your content so that you can balance which videos you're going to recommend people to watch more videos on and which videos you're going to send people to your email list. Because remember, we have to play nice with YouTube and collect gold coins, but we also need to get people on our email list. So by having a clear plan and knowing which videos are getting people to binge watch your YouTube content, collecting gold coins on YouTube, and which videos are gonna send people to your opt-in, getting you more email subscribers, it's really gonna help you balance out that YouTube strategy. And the third tip I have is master the YouTube trifecta, as I like to call it. So I have a lot of videos that dig down deep into this. I'll actually link one right up above for you to watch after this to really understand what the YouTube trifecta is and how you can make sure you're doing it right. But what it is is the three pieces of analytics that you need to watch for every single video to make YouTube want to put more of your content in front of more people. So those three things are your click-through rate, which is how well your thumbnail and your video title get people to click on it when they're shown it. The second one is your audience retention. So how well you're getting people to watch your entire video. So basically how valuable your video is to that viewer. Are you getting people to watch to the end? And that third piece is that end screen click through rate. Again, that's why we want to really balance when we're sending people off of YouTube and when we're sending them to another video, because I've seen channels explode when they've hit like a 13, 14, 15% end screen click through rate to another video. That sends signals to YouTube like, let's put this video in front of more people because they clicked on it 
they watched it to the end and they clicked on another video causing that binge session. Now remember, you can still have your opt-in link in that description box in your soft sell, but those are kind of the three key analytics that are going to really signal to YouTube to put your content in front of more people, to get you more views, to get you more people on your email list. So play nice with YouTube and don't always send them off of the platform if you want to get more views on your video. I've actually created a video strategy starter kit for you to help you get started here on YouTube to help you grow your email list. You can download that starter kit by clicking the link that is on the video right now or going to the link in the description box. And once you have that downloaded, I want you to watch the three video series that is on your screen right now. These three videos are gonna take you through the very first steps that you need to do here on YouTube to get YouTube to put your videos in front of more people and get more people on your email list. Click that series and I'll see you over there.